The synchronization in this algorithm is an emergent property that comes from applying a perfectly deterministic transformation to all three streams simultaneously, rather than a complex feedback or sync protocol. Here's a mathematical breakdown of how it works, based on the code's logic at each time step. We adjust the twist amount with the slider. The travel position of a particle is based on its relative position along the central axis at the undeformed radial starting position. The final 3D position of any particle in any stream is calculated in a single function. The synchronization works by ensuring that the inputs to this function are perfectly synchronized for any set of parallel particles. This happens in two stages. At first, the synchronization of particle travel vectors at each time step. Then, the synchronization of spatial deformation via geometric compression. This system itself has two parts. The axial twist part rotates the particle's radial position around the y-axis. The supercoiling buckling part displaces the twisted particle outwards in a larger helix. At any single frame, time step, the simulation does the following for any set of three parallel particles, one from each stream, all at the same height. It will get synchronized inputs, then calculate final positions, in parallel. The streams are synchronized, because they are simply three different inputs, R underscore 1, R underscore 2, R underscore 3, being passed through the exact same complex mathematical function d with the exact same deformation parameters, y underscore j, t, and t. The latent space you see, the changing distances and relationships between the three streams, is a direct, predictable, and non-random consequence of this shared transformation. There is no chance of them desyncing, because there is no feedback or state-based logic that could cause one stream to be calculated differently from another.